Hello everyone, Colorado8 here, and today I'm back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at all of the removed maps in Pixel Gun 3D as of March 2019. Now, a couple of things I need to say at the beginning of this video. If the map was added in multiplayer and it is not there anymore, then it counts as removed. If a map was in two game modes, but now it's in one, like Stadium, it's not removed in the game. If the map has a different name from the original, like end of the world and parallel world that i don't count that as removed because they're literally the same map they just changed the design and the name of it and for all the maps in this video i'm going to be talking about like when was the map removed and should it be back into the game and talk about the map um like how it works and stuff like i don't know we'll just we'll see we'll see how it goes but yeah that's all i think i have to say at the beginning hopefully i didn't forget anything so yeah let's get into all the maps that has been removed in pixel gun 3d the first map we're going over is Shooting Range. Now, Shooting Range is one of the smallest maps ever created in Pixel Gun 3D. Um, it's kind of obvious why they removed it as of right now. It's pretty obvious now why they removed it, and probably not back then. It's because the map is way too small. <laughs> shooting Range is very small. Like, if you have this map like in the game right now, playable multiplayer, this map will be very annoying to play on just because the map is super small and. With the meta right now and with all like the sniper spamming and the area damage weapons, it's not going to work for that map at all. And yeah, I don't think this map should come back. The next map is Infected Prison. Same thing with Shooting Range. This map, um, this map was actually not too bad back then. Like in 2015, it was not too bad. I can see it not working out at all in the current meta of Pixel Gun 3D just because it'll be very easy to dice because this map is actually more close than Sound School is. So yeah, I don't see this map working as a map. Infected Prison was, had some really cool out of the map glitches you can do with it. There was a lot of out of the map glitches you could do with this map back then in 2014. And yeah, that was one of the cooler things of this map. Then we have Bridge. Now, I'm not sure why the developers removed this map in the game. It, this map was actually not too bad of a map. I could actually see it working very well uh, like currently in the game right now. But uh, they decided to remove it. This map is still in campaign, so you can still play a campaign, but non-multiplayer. But yeah, Bridge, definitely one of my favorite maps back then. I really want this map to come back in the game. It was so good. Why'd they remove it, dude? And then we have Science Lab, one of the most requested maps for the developers to make a comeback in this game. This map, everyone wants this map. I want this map. You guys want this map. That's watching this video. All the YouTubers want this map. Everyone wants this map, but anyway, yeah, this map, in terms of right now in the current meta, it probably gonna work fine, I can see it. I can see it working fine, like in the current meta right now, it's pretty good. I do like this map, I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> and then we have Mafia Mansion, um, this map has been removed twice, I think, yeah, it was, it was brought back like a few updates ago, I think when they added like all the old maps in the game, like a few of them. And they removed it again. I'm not sure why, but they just did. But this map, uh, I'm pretty sure it was like removed like in 2016 and like recently, a few months ago. I'm not sure why they did that at all. Like, I, I don't know. But yeah, this map could easily work. Like, I don't know why they removed it. It was actually a pretty good map and everyone wanted it. They just removed it again. Like, what were they doing? Secret Base is another map that a lot of people want in Pixel Gun 3D. Secret Base is definitely one of the more requested maps for the developer to make a comeback in this game. Uh, this map is, I don't know, I, I have really an opinion. This map is one of the least memorable maps in my opinion. Just because like, they, you only we only played it for like five or six months, I don't remember anymore. Dangerous Roads, this map is pretty nice this map was definitely very good for like all the alternate game modes you could play besides deathmatch like team deathmatch and flat capture and it could possibly work in point capture well too like this map was actually one of the better maps for pixel gun 3d and yeah they did remove it i'm not sure why though then we have spooky theme park definitely one of my favorite maps that has been removed in this game this map is a halloween map so they they used to remove all the Christmas maps and the Halloween map when the holidays are over. And uh, they didn't actually do that for like Christmas Town, but they did it for uh, Spooky Theme Park. I'm not sure why though. I, I say I'm not sure why so many times. I'm not sure why. I don't know. But yeah, Spooky Theme Park, uh, that, it's been removed like twice, I think. It was 
put in Pixel Gun 3D in 2016 Halloween. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Then we have King of the Hill. This map, I'm not sure why this map was removed. This map has been in Pixel Gun 3D for a very, very long time. I'm not sure they removed it like twice. I'm pretty sure they removed it at least once. I'm not sure about twice though. Like this map has been removed recently uh, for some apparent reason. And uh, this map was like a huge hill, literally a king of the hill. You have to be at the very top. And uh, this map was actually kind of annoying to play on sometimes just because you always have to constantly jump just to get to places. But uh, yeah, that's like the only flaw with the map. And uh, they should probably bring it back. Inside the code, oh man, where do we begin? Now, fun fact with Inside the Code, back in 2015, you had to buy this map with coins, and you had to buy Atlantis as well with coins. Now, that was a very interesting thing they did back then. I'm not sure why though. But Inside the Code, um, as you can see from the video right here, it's very, it's, a, it's an interesting map. It's all green. It's like the coding maps in Virtual World and World 4. It's a um, pretty cool map, but like, it's something, uh, I, don't, I don't know, dude. It's a map, it's, we're gonna call it a map for now. Winter Wonderland, um, this map is one of the oldest maps in this whole video. Um, this map was a map for co-op survival, and it used to be a multiplayer map. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I say for this map. This map, I don't know, like, if it was in Pixel Gun 3D right now, I don't think this map would be, like, super ideal, I would say. It, it could work, but, like, not exactly like perfectly then we have slender forest uh, i really do not like this map at all this map is extremely dark and you cannot see anything in this map that's i, I personally hate it you guys probably don't hate it but the slender forest map it's in campaign still luckily uh it definitely fits in pixelated world but I, I don't really like the map that much just because it's really dark and um i don't know that's pretty much all i need to say for this map let's get into the next one then we have Pumpkin Island, another Halloween map. I'm surprised they did not keep this map into the game because they had this map for ever since 2014. They took it out every year and Christmas Town at least has not been taken out yet. Um, I didn't, I don't, I'm surprised they didn't do that for Pumpkin Island because Pumpkin Island has been out for longer than Christmas Town. Not Christmas Town. And those maps are staying in the game now and not this one, which I find very interesting. Then we have Fall Seasons, another map that is highly requested from the community. Four Seasons, um, it's a pretty good map. Fun fact, this is my very first video on this map, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. But yeah, Fall Se Four Seasons, it's not Fall Seasons, Four Seasons. Um, I don't know. It's pretty good. I, I do like this map, though. Like, I don't really have much to say about it, other than uh, it's definitely something a lot of people want, and I definitely want this map back. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Sandbox Island. This map is actually a sandbox, but for some reason they added this map into Deathmatch for some reason. I'm not sure why though. <laughs> this map was um, honestly one of the more interesting maps in the game just because it's a sandbox map that's literally super open. <laughs> but yeah, they stopped uh, making this map like two updates later. City of the Dead, probably the oldest map in this entire video. This map, um, um, I think it's like the first map in the game, even though I just said it's the oldest map in this video, and I can't figure out if it's the first map in the whole game. Wow, I'm an idiot. But yeah, City of the Dead, um, it's been removed for like four years or something like that. I'm not sure how long. I've not, I'm, I haven't played Pixel Gun for that long, about a time, so I don't really know. I never played on the map. It's still in campaign though, so that's a good, that's a plus though. But yeah, City of the Dead, um, definitely a very forgotten map in the game, and yeah. I don't know if they should bring this map back. I think it, it looks pretty cool as a map, but like, I don't know if they should bring it back. We have to store Megalopolis though, which is like, a better version. Then we had Night Hunting, a Deadly Games map. Now, this map is afternoon battlefield at nighttime. This map can stay going, and I don't really care if they bring this map back or not. Some people will probably do want this map back though. It was pretty cool to play Afternoon Battlefield at night, but it's just Afternoon, afternoon Battlefield at night. That's basically what this thing is. Winter Party uh, was removed from Sandbox for some reason. All of the Sandbox fans actually are really mad that this map is not in the game anymore. I'm not sure why it's not in the game anymore, <laughs> but yeah. Sandbox map, Um, if they can get into the game, that's great and all, but like, it might... I, Personally, I don't really care for sandbox anyway, so it's not really a big deal if they bring it back for like 
all the people that play the game, but for sandbox users, it's gonna be a big deal if they, they do bring it back. Now we have Midnight Graveyard and Hospital. Now I actually cannot find any like good footage on these two maps. So I pulled up the Pixel Gun 3D trailer, the very first one, and they announced their actual playable maps and ZNHD told me on Twitter. So yeah, these maps, um, they were playable and that was about it. Like they're in campaign as well. These two maps um, are what also one of the very first maps in this game. Um, they're both very very old in campaign and everything and yeah that's pretty much it and we're on the last map of the video hell castle this map apparently was a playable map um i thought originally this map was just in campaign it was never actually a multiplayer map but i did my research and it actually is <laughs> but yeah this map um it's hell castle if you guys could play hell castle in campaign you basically know how this map works it's four uh like buildings and stuff like that so yeah, that's pretty much all of the maps that were removed in Pixel Gun 3D. I always had, I kind of had this year like recently to cram all of the maps that were removed in one video. I don't think anyone's done that before. Um, let me know in the comments below how I made this video, like how I commentated this video. I wasn't sure like if I should make a script for the video or not. I usually don't make scripts, but yeah. Leave a like on the video if you want some of these maps, the good ones, to be back in the game. And yeah, thanks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.